Hello everybody, I'm GHG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to use what we learned last episode with those cool text messages to create a text warp plugin. And as you can see I've already created a new plugin and I've registered a command text warp, don't forget to register it also in your plugin.yml and set the executor to a new warp command this. And what text warp is going to be, it's going to be like a a command that you can use slash text warp and it will show you a list of all warps on the server and then you can click on them and it will warp you to that location so uh, to start off we of course need to check if the sender is instance of player because we want to have player only have players the ability to teleport so player p equals and I cast it to player just basic stuff sender and after that I want to uh, define two options, either they just do plainly slash text warp, in which case arcs, and I changed it to arcs, normally it's arc3 I guess, uh, arcs makes more sense, so arguments arcs dot length, and let's wait for it to load in, so uh, length equals zero, so if, it's, uh, if there's no arguments after slash text warp, then what we want to do because I'm going to introduce you guys to a new type of um, making your plugins. Because you can put all the codes over here with warping and sending the list. But you can also make a manager class. And to do so we are going to create a new class over here at the top. That's called warp manager. So we're going to make a warp manager to keep things organized. You should do this when you start to make bigger plugins. This will not be that big of a plugin. But still it's a nice concept. So over here. Inside of the warp manager, what I want to do is I want to make a public void. And the first is going to be warp player, which is going to take a player, of course, and a warp name. So just a string with warp name. And over here, we are not going to do anything yet. And underneath here, I want to make another public void, which will be the send warp list. And it will take a player, just plainly. And since we are going to store uh, everything inside of the config, of the plugin config, we'd also like to yeah, create a reference, get a reference from the main class, so the text warp class. And to do so, we are going to make a simple, simple uh, constructor. So public warp manager, it's going to take a text warp, which is going to be main, and then over here, uh, and then over here, what we are going to do is text warp variable, with which is called plugin and then inside of the construct we're going to make plugin equal to main that way we can access the config okay so back to text warp because we also need to have a reference over here of our warp manager so we're going to do warp manager uh yeah warp manager and that does not equal anything yet and over here uh, after this we are going to set warp manager equal to new warp manager we're going to, have to pass this because we made the constructor and what warp manager is going to do it's actually going to organize all of our code and have all of our utilities you can also make them static but i like to uh, do references so that we can actually access it from other classes rather easily okay inside of send warp list what we are going to do because we're going to store the warps inside of the config we are going to get plugin to get config They'll get keys because uh, keys gives you all uh, the things in the config. So if you have config over here, test double dot test two over here, test two, uh, get keys will return all children. So all keys over here. And I do false because it will only do the top level ones. I do not want the other uh, levels well, uh, because they're not useful. And what we are going to do for uh, each string warp inside of that. We are going to uh, create a text message, a new text message. And what we are going to do is we're going to create a text component, of course, called message again, just like last episode, equals new text component. And the text is going to be warp, of course. And make sure you import the netmd and not the java.rwt because that will not work. So over here, what we are going to do is just set the color to make it look nicer, check color.green. And do the net MD5 again. 
and we are going to set the click event we all know this from last episode if you didn't watch it watch it click event event and it's going to be a new click event oh we already typed that click event dot action dot run command and we are going to run the command slash text warp plus the spacebar plus the warp name and of course last thing you need to do is actually send the message so send the message to the player if you do not get what i'm doing now check out last episode so this will actually return the warp list to the player and now inside of here if we do a uh, zero what we want to do is we want to return the warp list and as you can see i've made a constructor over here as well and i'm just going to do plugin dot warp manager so wm dot send warp list to player p and that's actually to organize your code because now you know hey inside of here uh we sent the warp list and if you do not know how to uh what warp list actually was again but you cannot find it anywhere you can at least in eclipse do uh, references workspace and as you can see it will find every reference over here the on command send warp list and you can also just look around for it okay so um if it does not equals what uh, zero so else if arcs dot length equals equals one we want to uh, to actually teleport the player dot warp player of course player p and arcs zero because it's going to be the first argument and java starts to count at zero but that will be for another episode so player dot send message uh the warp name just for now as you can click on it you will still see that it works and yeah in another episode we're also going to do how to actually store the location inside of the file with a command etc etc uh, but this is it for now we uh i introduce you to the manager class or at least a manager class you can also make managers of whatever you want data managers that you get uh get information from the config etc etc just all to organize your code and keep it nice and clean so let's go and check this out on the server see you over there so inside Minecraft now i've started up the server and let's go take a look at it and inside the config i've placed some empty well empty some um yeah, some default stuff, so a little, yeah, a certain amount of keys, like three, so that we can see the, that the plugin is actually working because we do not have any warps yet. So what we are going to do is going to do text warp. As you can see, it will show us three. I just put test warp and high in there. And if you click on it, it will show you the message for now. You can also do a hover event to make it look even nicer or even start clicking on the warp and then put a little um, space over here so that they don't actually touch the size of the side of the screen that's it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comment section or in the description box you will find a link to the discord channel in which you can also generally chat i hope you enjoyed this episode thanks for watching see you next time bye <laughs>